So now that Windows 11 is officially announced, let's talk about a few things. The first one being compatibility. According to the Windows 11 homepage, these are the requirements you need to be able to get the free update. But it also depends on your laptop or computer's processor. Only 8th gen Intel Core processors, Apollo Lake, as well as the new Pentium processors will support Windows 11, which means all the ones before that will officially not be able to run Windows 11, which is funny because Microsoft own Surface Studio 2, a product that is $3,500 runs the 7th gen Intel Core processor inside, which means it won't be getting Windows 11. Now yes, for some users you'll still be able to run Windows 11 and bypass this warning. You'll get a warning saying your computer isn't compatible or it's not advisable for you to run Windows 11 on your computer, but you'll be able to run it just fine with some limitations here and there. But for the unlucky few like myself who have an issue with the processor, whether it's old or whether you don't get TPM 2.0 support, you will not be able to run Windows 11. And that's a shame considering my computer runs everything fine on Windows 10, including the videos that I make. And it's also got TPM 2.0 support, one of the biggest limitations for any device to be running Windows 11, yet I won't be able to get that official update. And just to reference, a 2013-2014 MacBook can run macOS Monterey, the software update that came out just a few months ago and will be official sometime in September, and a three-year-old machine cannot run Windows 11 for whatever reason. TPM support, I get that, you want to emphasize on security, but that doesn't mean you just neglect everyone who doesn't have a newer computer. So it's a bit of an iffy situation, but that's sort of the premise of this video. I wanted to see if it's possible to run Windows 11 on a second gen Intel Core processor, and well, it is possible. Look, I'm not encouraging anyone to run Windows 11 on a second gen Intel Core processor. I'm just saying it's possible, and I think Windows or Microsoft rather, should look to optimize its software for older devices and not just neglect them saying, look, you can run Windows 10 just fine until 2025, and for those people who have better hardware, they can experience a more refined software in Windows 11. Now, I've had Windows 11 for about a week now. This is the leaked preview version, and on the laptop that I'm running this thing on, it's very, very slow. It's not recommended at all, and this could be due to the fact that this is a leaked version and not sort of the official version, but yeah, I'm not gonna recommend it, but this gives me a chance to actually show you guys some of the things that are new with Windows 11. It's got this key overhaul where it looks like Windows Vista in a way, it's got that vibe. You get sort of translucent elements all throughout and the windows are curved, which is a big departure from the sharp looking windows on Windows 10. The taskbar is also now centered, although it's very easy to align to the left if you want. But if you're someone who puts the taskbar to the sides or to the top of the display, that is going to be a problem. You now also get access to widgets, which I think is great for sort of customization when it comes to desktops. Another feature on Windows 11, although desktop availability on this preview version wasn't working, so you didn't get any desktop uh, widgets to load, which I think is due to the fact that this again is a leaked version, although I have some pictures on screen for you guys to see on how this thing could work on you know the official previews as well as laptops that are sort of newer than the one that I'm testing on. Microsoft also claims that the Teams experience is more refined on Windows 11 and the touchscreen experience on Windows 11 is better, although I couldn't test that out for obvious reasons. What I particularly like though are a few things. I think the snap view layout on Windows 11 is just perfect for anyone who wants to multitask with multiple windows open. I do that very, very often, and for this to be now intuitive is just a way for more people to learn about the experience and to have multiple windows open simultaneously and boost productivity overall. There's also something called snap groups where you can pretty much group certain applications in the way you desire and with one click all of those applications will open in the format or the layout that you've configured and of course building on the thing i talked about earlier about desktop experiences you can now have desktop experiences for things like your work desktop your play desktop and have all sorts of customizability options which i think is a right move for windows 11. And then arguably the big one is Android application support. The 
Microsoft Store has sort of gotten an overhaul with Windows 11 where you can now access Android applications straight from the Microsoft Store. But not only that, you'll also be able to sideload these applications just like you would on any Android device. Now, this feature isn't yet available on the preview versions of uh, Windows 11, nor is it coming for the next version of Windows 11, the ones that the insiders will be able to access next week. So this is sort of a process that is taking a bit of time to perfect for Microsoft, but I think the move is great. You could have sort of this customizability and this interaction between Android devices and Windows devices, which I think is a major gap and something that I look for a lot when it comes to bridging my workflows together because I use Android devices and I use a Windows product for the majority of my time. I really wanna try this, but as I said, it's not available currently, but if there's anyone from Windows who's watching this video, pretty much a 0.0001% chance let me know how I can try it. Is it as simple as just downloading an APK from the web and clicking on it and it installs seamlessly? You have this sort of package installer built in to Windows 11. I do have a lot of questions, but I hope these will be answered in due time. The full version of Windows 11 is coming sometime in the holiday season, so there's no official date as of yet, but I am looking forward to it. Some of the features that Windows 11 brings are genuinely useful and yes it does borrow things from mac os but at the end of the day you're the consumer and if you let's say have something on mac os that you particularly like and now it's on windows 11 i think it's a win-win for the consumer at the end of the day i will add one thing though the features that are part of the windows 11 experience they seem like windows 10 s more than 11 but i see why microsoft has done it the 10 s name doesn't sort of give you the same mental effect as 11. 11 just seems like a bigger and better upgrade and that's why Microsoft has gone for it, but the feature set isn't there to back it up. And I think most of the software changes we've seen over the last couple of years have been the same. So I don't really blame Microsoft for it and I am looking forward to Windows 11. Let me know what you guys think about the update down in the comments. Are you excited? Are you moving to Mac OS? Are you sticking to Windows? All of that in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, a like and a subscription to the channel would be very much appreciated. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, as I said, this was Vabov, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.